Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. So, Game 2 NBA Finals recap. Uh, Golden State wins again at home, 122-103. to um, Game they pretty much controlled uh, seem, seemingly from start to finish. Uh, Cleveland played well in some spots, but really Golden State just, you know, kept their foot on the gas. And, um, you know, Cleveland just seemed to, to still be uh, downtrodden and frustrated with uh, what happened in Game 1. I think it carried over into Game 2, uh, and they didn't seem to have that same energy and will, just general belief to win uh, tonight that we saw in Game 1. They, they knew Game 1 was theirs, and I think um, just with you know some of the just the energy you could feel the energy wasn't there and, and and not like Golden State played you know hard or whatever I think Golden State just shot the ball well was efficient um, they still have the, their moments where they're too too cool for school so to speak but you know when, when you're able to keep your opponent at arm's length and they're not able to put any pressure on you you know you have the result you end up with the result that you ended up with tonight uh, LeBron was his you know, he had some issues with turnovers, but he, you know, still put up his numbers. And to be to be frank with you, the, the Cleveland starting lineup was very good tonight. I mean, Kevin Love uh, had had over 20 points and, and 10 rebounds again. And made I think three threes. Uh, George Hill was very good. Um, Tristan Thompson was effective on the glass, and I think it finished with double digits as well. But Cleveland got nothing from their bench, and nobody played defense. I mean, you started the game off with, I think, two dunks with JaVale McGee, another layup with Kevin Durant. Everything, their defensive rotations were terrible. And if they're going to get back in this series or make this series competitive, they have to play defense at the level that the Houston Rockets defended at, where they were getting the games and the, holding the uh, Warriors in the 90s. When, 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 when you're allowing Golden State to get to 122 at home, you have no chance to win. Absolutely no chance. I don't care, and 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 I don't care if LeBron scores sixty points. You know, I mean, if you're not going to defend, you're going to allow Kevin Durant to catch the ball where he caught the ball tonight. You're going to allow, and, and Steph Curry had an unbelievable game, and I know some of those shots, especially the one he hit late in the shot clock. You know, falling away over Kevin Love. That was, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. There, there was there was three or four shots that he. And even Clay, you know, Clay had an admirable performance on the sprained ankle. But some of the shots they made over, over contest, you know, good contests were just, you know, you shake your head. But um, Golden State had a lot of easy baskets tonight. You know, JaVel McGee, double digits didn't miss. Sean Livingston, double digits didn't miss. Uh, I think Kevin Durant hit his first six or seven shots. Just easy rhythm, you know, nothing difficult about what they were doing. Um, when they get back to Cleveland, Cleveland's going to have to get in the mentality of grit and grind. That's the only way you can affect Golden State. Even going back to when they had a difficult series back um, that first year against Memphis, you have to muck up the waters. You have to do what they did in game one and even what Houston was willing to do, especially when they had Chris Paul. Um, slowing the game down, controlling pace. I thought I was saying to my boys while I was watching the game earlier, Cleveland's running too much. They're playing too fast. And, and you saw the game eventually get away from them. Um, Steph Curry right now is very clear um, to me that he's gunning for uh, finals MVP. Um, he was, he was you know, some of the shots he made tonight. It, it was a reminder of why he, he's considered... Uh, one of the greatest shooters, if not the greatest shooter in NBA history. Um, just the quick release, um, his handle, um, what he did to Larry Nance tonight, uh, you know, I think is illegal in, in, in all 50 states. I mean, my goodness. The, the man had no clue what was going on. He, you know, he told him to come back here several times, you know, cross him up again, ball fakes, all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's just it's crazy. I mean, it's 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 honestly a pl- he's so much fun to watch. Just objectively as a basketball fan, Steph Curry was incredible tonight. I thought that was his tonight was you know obviously set the NBA record most uh, threes in a finals game. Um, remarkable performance tonight. Right now, he's clear in a way the the front runner for Finals MVP. If LeBron can't you know get a win, obviously. So um, we'll see. I mean now. They always say the series really doesn't start until another team wins on the other team's home floor or wins a road game. And right now, all Golden State has done um, from a 
you know, numbers standpoint is held serve at home. Um, you know, and Cleveland has not lost at home, I believe, since the since game one of the playoffs against Indiana. So um, we'll see what type of energy they come with. They're going to need something out of J.R. Smith. I thought Ty Lue probably should have gone to his bench, punted that fourth quarter a little earlier, just to see if he could get somebody like a Rodney Hood going, maybe even a Kyle Durant, some, some, somebody, something somewhere. Um, it, it, desperate times call for desperate measures. I know Rodney Hood has not been locked in. He has not had a good attitude. But at this point, you need somebody to help score. Um, Jeff Green, I gave him praise earlier about his performances um, at the end of the Boston series, as well as game one. He was terrible tonight. Corver, terrible tonight. I mean, we, you got to find some, some sort of help to, to help su- supplement the scoring with LeBron or else uh, this series will not come back to Oakland, and it will be over very quickly, and you know we'll be about our way of crowning Golden State yet again three years, uh, three out of four years. So we'll see. It wasn't very competitive tonight, but um, I do think there are some things that Cleveland can do to still make this a competitive series. I do think that they can catch Golden State in that too cool for school mentality. I haven't seen Golden State play with that intensity that they've, and I, they may, maybe that's missing with uh, some of the character that Iguodala gives them. Uh, but there are some games on the table I feel like to be had for Cleveland. Uh, or else next week's conversation is going to be about where where LeBron's going to play basketball next year. That's, that's where we're headed. Um, so we'll see. You guys let me know. Chime in in the comments if I miss anything about the game. Um, but to me, there, there wasn't too much here to unpack other than Steph Curry um, trying to go after that finals MVP. So we'll see. Uh, I'll be back here uh, Wednesday night with a uh, recap, and uh, we'll go from there. Appreciate you guys.